you pleased with your final tune up before the postseason? And if so, why? Yeah, um, I was. I thought that we uh, made a lot of quality pitches tonight. Uh, um, I thought that um, we worked out of a couple jams well. Uh, we turned some really great double plays, which uh, kept the pitch count in check. And um, yeah, we scored a lot of runs. Aaron Boone was asked to describe your first season as a Yankee. He said outstanding. How would you describe your first regular season as a Yankee? Yeah, shorter than we all expected, right? But, um, uh, you know, just kept trying to get better every time we took the ball. It felt like uh, more often than not we did that. And, um, you know, it's nice to be finishing strong going into uh, the postseason. And you'll get some extra rest before you get the ball in the postseason. What will your schedule look like from now until then? Yeah, take a couple of days to recover and then, um, you know, just kind of hop back on the train push the bullpen back a couple of days because we have seven and um, maybe a few extra bullets that day just to keep trying to stay in a good rhythm and, and we'll roll from there. Thank you. Next one to Bruce Beck. Garrett, how much are you looking forward to that first opportunity to represent the Yankees in the postseason? Yeah, it's, um, I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. Um, you know, I, I think, though, for now, we'll just, you know, keep our focus on the Blue Jays for the next few days and, uh, you know, try to finish out the season, um, you know, playing good baseball. Next one to Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Garrett. You, it's been an interesting season, not only because of this 60-game shortened season, but you also have you know, your first child with your wife. How would you describe this year overall for you, you know, and, and your dream of, of being a Yankee coming true? Yeah, I definitely didn't imagine any anything quite like this, um, you know, but uh, outside of outside of things that we can't control, like the virus and the shortened season, et cetera, um, you know, we, every time we took the ball, we just tried to get a little bit better. Uh, gave our team a chance to win uh, more often times than not. And um, I've settled in now with you know with the guys and and uh with the team just in the locker room and whatnot um you know adjusting to these new protocols and and adjusting to just a totally new environment so um it's been really good and, I, and i'm i'm glad I, i'm glad that we were able to uh, glad that we were able to put together a, a pretty good campaign for for you know as short as it as it was it's obviously not 162 and there are a lot of challenges there um you know but the challenges this year have been unique and and, you know, we did a good job, you know, trying to overcome them. Yeah, thanks. Next one to George King. Garrett, how much does Judge mean to that lineup, and how nice is it to see him back for you? Yeah, I, I mean, he's he's an integral part of our lineup. He's an integral part of our clubhouse. I mean, he's really an integral part of the industry, uh, to say the least. Um, but he... You know, he could change the dynamic of a club just, you know, just based on a smile, just based on a high five. Um, and, you know, oftentimes, you know, even if he's not playing well, he, he, he still keeps that same mentality, which is huge for us. Um, you know, anytime we can, anytime we can get rolling with Judgey on the field, it feels good. Thank you. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next one. Garrett, you mentioned how judge's presence in the clubhouse can just kind of change things he wasn't around for a lot of your guys slide when you guys are on the road he's rehabbing how how would you describe his his presence being a new player to this team how would you describe the effect he has on just everyone around yeah just like superhero like um you know we went into the slide i'm not gonna say it's like obviously you know correlated to the fact that the judge he wasn't there um, you know, cause we, we did turn it, we did turn it back around and, uh, before he came back, but he was obviously missed, um, whether we're playing well or not, he's just an enjoyable person to be around. 